As a young person, I have come to know a world where climate change is not just a theory to accept or deny, but it is a global threat that we are already seeing the effects of. It's called the Green New Deal, a platform pushed by some Democrats designed to tackle climate change while stimulating the economy. So what exactly is it? The term Green New Deal, a throwback to President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal reforms and infrastructure programs, has been around for years. One of the earliest mentions was in 2007, in a column by the New York Times' Thomas Friedman. By 2008, the concept continued to evolve when then-green job czar Van Jones used the phrase to describe a plan to increase medium-skilled jobs in green sectors. The latest iteration, the one being championed most notably by Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, is the one making waves. Because we don't have a choice. We do not have a choice. We have to get to 100% renewable energy in 10 years. There is no other option. Some of its aims include transitioning the country away from fossil fuels, decreasing the use of carbon in agriculture, transportation, and infrastructure, and aiming to make the economy carbon-free within 10 years. It also seeks to tackle income inequality through a federal jobs guarantee program that assures a, quote, living wage. Many other high-profile progressives, from freshman lawmakers like Rashida Tlaib and Pramila Jayapal, to more establishing figures like John Lewis, have shown support. And activists like the Sunrise Movement and Justice Democrats have staged protests and sit-ins on Capitol Hill. Despite support for the creation of a select committee in Congress, Senate Republicans have openly criticized the effort, calling the measure expensive and, quote, impossible to afford. And despite having the majority in the House, Democrats have also pushed for climate-based reforms before, like in 2010, and lost. 